Breakers Bereka Zoo is a competitive fighting game developed by Visco, which was released for the Neo Geo coin operated platform on December 17, 1996. Home versions were released for the Neo Geo cartridge console on March 21, 1997, and for the Neo Geo CD on April 25, 1997. An updated version titled Breaker's Revenge Bereka Zuribenji was released exclusively for the arcades on July 3, 1998. Gameplay The controls of the game is similar to that of SNK's earlier installments in their Fatal Fury series, particularly Fatal Fury 2, Special and 3. The special actions are also similar to other fighting games from the same era, although the dashing and back-stepping techniques tend to differ between characters some of them will roll on the floor for example. Additionally, the player can move while standing up after a fall. The game system emphasizes balance between characters by featuring an elaborate damage adjustment feature. The player also can perform super moves by accumulating enough energy in their power gauge and performing the command. The power gauge can be filled up to three levels. To accumulate energy for the power gauge, the player must perform special actions such as taunting, dashing, backstepping, rolling, etc. Like most fighting games, the player can cancel a regular move into a special move or special move into a super move, but the player can also connect one super move to another until their power gauge runs out, allowing the player to perform acrobatic combos. Because of its emphasis on damage adjustment, it is hard to spam the same attacks for great damage. The matches follows the standard one-on-one -on -one best two of three format like most fighting games, but a match can last up to five rounds if there is no clear-cut winner in previous rounds the game will end if both fighters lose the fifth round and no bonus points will be awarded if one wins the fifth round. In the single-player mode, if the CPU uses the same character as the player, then the CPU-controlled character's name display will have a different name. The home versions of the game were released for the Neo Geo AES and the Neo Geo CD. Both versions feature an option menu with a sound test allowing the player to play the game's music, sound effects and voices. The CD version adds a two-player versus mode and a survival mode. The music is also slightly arranged. The final boss Bai Hu is also a playable character in the CD version. Topic. Breaker's Revenge Breaker's Revenge is an upgraded version of Breaker's that was released exclusively for the arcades. It introduces one new character named Saizo and makes the final boss Bai Hu into a playable character. Revenge makes adjustments to the existing cast of characters, rebalancing the game. However, the opening intro is almost identical to that of the first game and game's graphics are not that different, however, the lifebars were modified to look different compared to the first game's lifebars, while some stages' graphics were removed e.g. flags in Sho Kamui's stage. <laughs> <laughs> Plot The following plot summary is translated from the home version's manual. Somewhere in Hong Kong, two martial artists face each other in a vast courtyard. The challenger is a stout man in brown skin. The ground has been tainted with blood. However, his crescent blade hasn't touched his opponent yet. It was a one-sided battle. He was already exhausted and it won't be long before he would fall. Fool, you will become one of my family. Resounded the opponent's voice, as the challenger crumbled to the floor and was turned into sand. The Fighting Instinct Tournament, or Fist, is a tournament as fierce as its name suggests. There was no shortage of martial artists who entered the tournament seeking fame, and yet there were many who left the tournament as corpses. The last challenger who remains in this lawless tournament gets to challenge the organizer of the tournament, the head of the Huang financial clique, for the chance to win the massive prize money. The martial artist who can manage to defeat him will obtain the honor of truly calling him or herself the strongest. However, none of the martial artists who were chosen to challenge the champion in a private final match have ever come back alive. Nobody knows when exactly the tournament is held, since only an avaricious will was spiraling over there. The sponsor is actually an evil spirit who possessed the body of a modern man from Hong Kong who has established a selection system to amplify his dark powers. The fist tournament has gathered numerous participants from around the globe and another sacrifice will be chosen this year.
Topic: <laughs> Main Fighters. The original Breakers features a roster of eight playable fighters and a single boss character who is playable only in the home versions. Additionally, each of the playable character has a differently named palette swapped alter ego that each character face during the single player mode instead of the usual clone. Breakers Revenge introduces one new character and turns the boss into a playable character as well. Sho Kamui, Shen Wei Shang Kamui Sho, the lead character. A young karate exponent from Japan who is pursuing strength. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, he was known as Takeshi Kamui, Shen Wei Wu Kamui Takeshi. Li Dao Long, Li Dao Long Romaji, Ri Toron, Pinyin, Li Dao Long shows rival and senior. A young Korean who practices a Chinese martial art called the Empty Fist. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, he was known as Park Tong Shin, Pu Dong Sheng Pinyin, Piao Dong Sheng, and wears a slightly different outfit. Tia Langre, Tia Rangor Tia Rangor voice actor, Monaco Arakawa a female fighter in a red leotard and headband famous for her kicks. Her name in the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy was Shelley Tarler, which was given to her clone counterpart in Breakers. Her prototype version wears a slightly different outfit. Piel Monterio, Piru Monterio Pieru Monterio an Italian nobleman who fights with a fencer's weapon most likely an epée or saber and the power of lightning. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, his name was spelled as Pierre Montalio, with the L, S and R switched. Condor Heads, Condoru Hezu Condoru Hezu a Native American fighter who uses a powerful grappling style. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, he was known as Red Jigers, a name given to his clone counterpart. Sheikh Mahurl, Shiku Maharu Shiku Maharu a stocky Arabian man who fights with a scimitar and uses fire projectiles, but can also inflate himself like a balloon. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, he was known as Sal Mahal. Saji Maha Ryla Estancia, Ryra Isatansha Ryra Isatansha a wild-hearted protector of the wilderness and forests of the Amazon who attacks with her claws and speed. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, she was known as Virgo Sandra, which was given to her clone counterpart in Breakers. Alcyon III, Arushian Shi Arushian Sansei an undead ancient Egyptian with rubber-like limbs who uses electric and poison attacks. Unlike other characters, in the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, his main name is the same name in Breakers, and was neither changed to a different name, nor given to his clone counterpart. Huang Bai Hu, Huang Bai Hu Romaji, Hon Pai Fu, Pinyin, Huang Bai Hu, the game's final boss. Supposedly the world's strongest martial artist, he is an evil spirit who killed Dao Long's father and possessed his body. In the 1994 prototype Crystal Legacy, he was known as Dostov. Saizo Tobakahano, Fei Ying Kai Zhang Tobakahano Saizo a ninja who seeks revenge on Bai Hu for the slaughter of his clan. His attacks use fire and various animals. He is the only new character in Breaker's Revenge. Topic. Clone fighters During the single player mode, instead of fighting a clone of their character, the player will face a differently named, differently colored alter ego. Even though these alter egos have different names and backstories, but are otherwise palette swaps of the regular characters. Jin Sawamura, Zei Kun Jen Sawamura Jin shows alter ego, named after a certain game company employee. A karate master who is Sho and Dao Long's senior. A big fan of the band group Tube. Wang Lu Kai, Wang Lu Kai Dao Long's alter ego, although he has no connection with him. He resents his girlfriend for leaving him and aspires to become a voice actor. Shelly Tarler, Sherry Tara Tia's alter ego. A female kickboxer who fought Tia's brother in the past and is a local celebrity in her hometown. She possesses the so-called gem of water. George Joruju PL's alter ego. A Frenchman who was once robbed during a trip to Italy and has harbored a hatred for Italians ever since. Red Jigers Redagiga Su Condor's alter ego. He is a distant relative of Condor whose clan shares a common ancestry with Condors. He possesses the so-called Gem of Earth. Javar Jabba Mahurl's alter ego. 
a cheerful butcher who uses his butchering blade as a combat weapon. Virgo Sandra Vua go Sandora Rila's alter ego. A woman who was entrusted to the forest tribe as an orphan and was raised by a giant snake. She possesses the so-called green gem. Her surname, Sandra, comes from the village where she lives. Atum Atom you all see an III's alter ego. A fan of ancient civilization who dresses up like a mummy. When he is in this form, he can use the techniques of the Pharaoh Taijutsu style. In reality, he is a descendant of Alcyon III. Yukakage Shui Ying Saizo's alter ego. Like his counterpart, he appears only in Breaker's Revenge. It is uncertain whether he is a real ninja or just a fanatic dressing like one. Topic. Development Breakers was originally announced in 1993 under the title of Crystal Legacy in English, or Tenren no Syo Chicago Tianlin no Shu Si Wahoo in Japanese. The game was first announced in the premiere issue of Game Hiso Guide Game you by Sheng Gaido published by Byakuya Shobo in 1993, while the first issue of Game Center Tenkoku Gisen Tien Guo published by Tokuma Shoten during the same year revealed the first screenshot of the game. An issue of Gaibunsha's Super Gamers magazine published a strategy guide for this prototype, which differs from the released version by having only a single level special move gauge, different commands and move names for some of the characters, and having the same super move command a, B, C, D, simultaneously for all the characters. Tenren no Syo underwent location testing on June 1994 at the Famil Game Center near Shinamachi Station and was later shown at the AM show during the same year, before the game was revamped and retitled Breakers. Reception The game is rather obscure in the arcade and Neo Geo scene, but it has gained something of a cult following. Along with no home ports of Breakers Revenge being released, the home ports of the original Breakers was never released outside Japan, pushing it deeper into obscurity. Due to its status and notoriety as a cult classic, it can still be seen being played in some modern Japanese fighting game tournaments. Even more so, the game is now more accessible due to the existence of emulators. 